I'm going to show you 10 affordable quiet luxury bags from my quiet luxury bag collection and how you can get your hands on these luxury bags too at affordable prices. Quiet luxury is a fairly recent term, but the concept has been around for decades. Expensive, high quality bags that aren't plastered with a brand name. Quiet luxury evokes a very particular kind of elegance, sophistication, and self-confidence. It's a mindset of, I know I'm wealthy and I don't care if anyone else knows or not, so I don't need to scream wealth by plastering my handbags with logos. But as my regular viewers know, I don't define luxury by brand name or by price luxury by quality. And if you'd like to know more about that, I have two videos that you can watch after this one. They'll be linked below called Luxury is a Lie and Coach is Luxury. Given that, the 10 bags I'm sharing today are all high quality, but from different brand names, some considered luxury brands and some considered contemporary. And they range in price from $150 up to a couple thousand dollars to cover a range of budgets. Some of the bags are new and some are pre-loved. And of course, all of them will be linked in the description box below. By the way, welcome! I'm Autumn Beckman and I am here to help you live your most luxurious life within your budget. We talk about everything from handbags to everyday luxuries, so subscribe, like, click the bell so you don't miss any of my daily community posts. That's where I post sales and fabulous finds. Or miss any of my new videos, which I post on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Also, don't miss my website, autumnbeckman.com it's linked below, where you can pick up items that I have personally designed for you to help you curate and organize a purposeful collection of your most treasured items, such as my handbag tracker. This is where you can track all the information about handbags and small goods that you have in your collection, all on one page, front and back. Keep everything in one place, nice and organized. Now let's look at these 10 affordable, quiet luxury bags. And I'm going to start with the loudest ones, which are from Louis Vuitton, because they're the most widely recognizable, even though the ones I'm showing you don't have logos. First up is the Louis Vuitton Speedy. I have it here in Damier Ben and in Damier Azur. Brand new, the Louis Vuitton Speedy costs well over $1,000, but you can easily find them under $1,000 on the pre-loved market. You can even find them under $500 if you're willing to give a little on condition. These two prints are a fabulous way to get your hands on a wonderful, classic, and very practical luxury handbag that doesn't scream Louis Vuitton because they're not in monogram. And you can find these at very affordable prices. The Speedies are some of the the most affordable Louis Vuitton bags you can find. Bag number two is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. This is another shape that is highly iconic and recognizable as Louis Vuitton. However, this one is an epi leather. Here's a close up in case you've never seen that. And the only branding on the outside of the bag is this little LV stamped in the bottom corner. Brand new epi leather bags from Louis Vuitton are quite expensive, certainly more than the canvas bags we just saw. But on the pre loved market, epi doesn't hold its value. Value. So you can get great deals on these. The Neverfull you can find under $1,500. And there are lots of other bags from Louis Vuitton in Epi Leather that you can find below $1,000 and even below $500. Another classic style bag from Louis Vuitton is the Noé. The Noé is a bucket bag. Here's the base. It's the large size like this was originally designed to hold five champagne bottles, one in each corner and then one upside down in the middle. It does come with a shoulder strap, but I don't have that on right now. And you can see it has grommets and a drawstring, and that's because you can cinch it up like this. Now, most of the Noé bags you will find will be in the monogram canvas or in the Damier Azur or a Ben, but you can also find it in epi leather and in other materials. This particular one is all Vachetta. It's from the Nomad line. These were limited edition pieces and they're hard to find, but they are out there. And I've seen some great prices. In fact, there's a different size bucket bag from the Nomad collection in great shape, under $1,000 that's available today. So I will link that below in case you're interested. Like the Epi Leather, the Nomad collection only has this little LV branding in the bottom corner. 
and nowhere else. So it's a fantastic luxury brand bag that works really well in the quiet luxury category. And you can easily find Noe bags under $1,000 and Epi ones under $500. But my favorite quiet luxury bag from Louis Vuitton that I actually have in my collection is the Locket. Louis Vuitton offers a range of Locket bags and they are some of their top of the line pieces. But again, they haven't held their value that well in the pre-loved market. This bag originally retailed for three or four thousand dollars but I got it pre-loved for four hundred and fifty dollars. This style of locket bag you can find under a thousand sometimes under five hundred but that is more rare and there are also other styles of the locket bag that I'll have linked below. A particular favorite of mine that I want to add but haven't yet is the soft locket. There have been several popping up lately that I've really had my eye on. The fifth affordable quiet luxury bag I want to tell you about is one of my more recent additions and it's from Fendi. It's the Fendi Peak in the Celeria style. This is some of the most exquisite smushy leather you'll ever lay your hands on and it has this beautiful stitching which is all done by hand. That plate inside that says Fendi and has the serial number is made of sterling silver and the peekaboo bag has quickly become one of my absolute favorite styles of bag from luxury brands. The current version of the Celeria style retails for upwards of five or six thousand dollars. I got this one just thousand dollars which is very typical for these bags and they come in a variety of colors although quiet luxury tends to be neutrals right but it doesn't have to be of all the bags on my list today this is probably the one I would recommend the highest and the speedy in terms of value and functionality. The sixth bag today, I actually have three bags to show you. They're all the same bag, just different sizes and different colorways. This is the St. Barth's Tote from Negetti. These bags are made from neoprene, woven together like this. They are soft, they're smushy, they're comfortable to carry, they're spacious, they're weatherproof other than the top is open. It doesn't have any kind of zip, but it does come with a pouch to put a few things in that you would want to keep more secure. This is the large size. Inside that I have the medium size and then inside that, this is how much I love these, I bought all three, I have the small size. There's also a petite which is a bit smaller than this but that gets a little too small for me. The small has a crossbody strap and the petite does too, the medium and large do not. These bags retail brand new for between $210 and $315. On the Negetti website, they never go on sale, but they do on some other websites, so I will link those below. If you are a regular viewer of my channel, you will not be surprised by bag number seven, which is absolutely anything from Henry's Leather Goods. This is one of their crossbody bags. This is another. They come with these seatbelt style straps. I have lots of videos on Henry's, so if you want to learn more about them before you purchase any. I'll have some videos linked below. Everything I've purchased from Henry's has been immaculate, top-notch quality and materials. And at price points ranging between $300 and $600, these would be the bags I recommend highest at that price tier. And even better, they are currently on sale for 30% off. And anytime that happens, I take advantage. And if there's anything I want, I buy it. I truly would recommend that you do the same. Another option in that same price range are bags for from Teddy Blake. Now with Henry's, I would recommend absolutely anything from that brand. With Teddy Blake, I would be more selective. This is the Gigi bag in the 11 inch, and I've really been enjoying this. I also have their Bella bags in 12 inch and in nine inch, and their Kiara bag. Now full disclosure, I do work with Teddy Blake, but this video is not sponsored and they didn't ask me to do it. I just wanted to include these three bags because they fit into the quiet luxury at affordable prices category. Bag number nine is a staple in the luxury community for a very affordable and all-weather tote bag. It's the Longchamp Le Pliage nylon tote. Mine is in the size large with the shoulder straps. I would always recommend these. If you're somebody who can't spend several hundred dollars on a handbag, but you still want something that's great quality and that's really classy looking, the Longchamp Le Pliage tote is the way I would go. I also have their duffel bags, which I use on all of our road trips. And they have a coated canvas version of this that's more like the Epi Leather Neverfull. That's only $250, so just $100 more 
than this one. And if you've ever wondered whether it's really worth spending $150 on a nylon bag, I avoided getting one for a long time because of that. Now I have a bunch of them because yes, it's worth it. They really are that nice. And bag number 10, a bag that is more recognizable than some others on this list, but not as recognizable as the Louis Vuitton pieces. And a bag that is also the most expensive on this list, but relatively speaking, you can still find them at more affordable prices. It is the Chanel reissue Mine is in the 227 size in the color bronze. If you're someone who has always loved the Chanel classic flap, but you're not willing to spend the money that you'd have to spend to acquire one, and you want something more quiet than having the CC logo, the reissue may be the bag for you. It's the same layout. I have some protective felt there, but it's the double flap bag. It's softer, more pliable than the Chanel classic flap, which for me is too boxy of a bag. And you can get these a whole lot cheaper than the classic flap. Now mine I got a few years ago for a little more than $3,000 and I know they've gone up a bit since then but they currently retail for almost $12,000. So relatively speaking it's still affordable. By the way my next video will be all about Chanel flap bags with the CC logo that you can find for under $2,000. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that one. So what is your favorite quiet luxury bag? Is it something you already own or something you have on your wish list? Let me know in the comment section below. And remember, all the bags I showed you today are also linked in the description box below, as well as those two videos I mentioned, Luxury is a Lie and Coach is Luxury. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.